Do you know why Mortal Kombat 1 allows voice chat during ranked matches even though other fighting games don't allow it? Well that's because Netherrealm knows how toxic our community can get. We love to trash talk each other, but we love trash talking the characters even more. Because you see, nobody ever actually loses in Mortal Kombat 1, the opponent's character is just really cheap. Yep, that's how it goes in this game, no matter who you choose to play online, your opponent will find some way to hate them. So without any further ado, here's why your favorite Mortal Kombat 1 character is hate. Make sure to post your own toxic comments below and let's begin. Ermac, your offense is insane with tons of cancels and pretty much every attack in the game. And on top of that, your combo damage is fantastic with the right cameo. Katana, you are safe on everything with good zoning to boot. And when combined with Jax, your mix-ups are actually unfair. If you want a full video explaining that, check it out on screen. Melina, your combo damage is stupid high, like literally dead in two combos. Plus, you can beat any wake up easily with your godlike overhead. Tanya, when combined with Goro, you have the best pressure in the game. Everything you do is plus on block, and your spin kick breaks armor with ease. Your damage might be low, but thank god for that. Rain. You have extremely unfair mix-ups that lead to full combos. Your counter zoning is great, and teaming up with Cyrax makes you overpowered as hell. Smoke. Mix-up after mix-up after mix-up, and then random teleports. You don't even need meter to extend combos thanks to vapor cancels. Online is your best friend. Scorpion. You have extremely good range and can combo easily even from full screen. Your air teleport is a free get in tool. However, without a good cameo, you're kinda trash. Reptile. The amount of damage you get without meter is actually stupid, and yet Netherrealm gave you new mix-ups on block and combo starters on hit. You honestly do deserve it though. Sub-Zero. Your corner carry is actually insane, and with the right cameo, your damage is good too. Your mix-ups are annoying as hell online, and your ice clone is actually frustrating. Lee Mei. Your combo damage is actually cracked. Nobody else in the game gets damaged this easily. You also have way too many plus frames and literally the fastest special move in the game. Kenshi, your clone is overpowered, and that's basically it. You have BS block strings, break armor with ease, and your combos hurt really, really bad, and it's all thanks to that stupid clone. Baraka. Honestly, insulting you feels like punching a crippled person. You deserve buffs for real. However, that armor breaking low is very annoying and your overhead somehow dodges everything. Garrus. You're way too complicated to be viable in tournaments, so you compensate by bullying players with vicious thrusting and backshots. Omni-Man. You can do everything, have crazy high combo damage, and when combined with Jax, your setups are nasty. Why do you get full combos off unblockables? It's actually insane. Peacemaker. You literally have every attack in the game. Your combo damage is still really good even after the nerfs and Eagly should be deleted from the game. Nobody, and I mean nobody, should have this many safe mix-ups. Shang Tsung. Your stupid projectiles are brain dead and not fun to watch or fight against. Netherrealm needs to fire whoever loves keep away this much. Also, why is your soul steal useless now? Like it's faster than ever, but it's somehow worse. General Xiao. Your whiff punish is godlike for no reason and you walk really fast. With Mavado at your side, you have the best command grab in the game, and you kill the opponent in two combos. You deserve it though, King, because you spent all of Mortal Kombat 11 being bottom tier. Sindel, you have the most overpowered mix-ups in Netherrealm history, and that's saying something. I love your lore, but I hope you are never playable again. Reiko, your projectiles are busted as hell, which makes no sense because you're a grappler. Why is your projectile so good, and too many of your attacks are safe on block, and you suck in story mode? Raiden, your chip damage makes people delete the game. You have other great tools too, but why bother when your opponent dies while blocking? I'm not even joking, pro players will only pick cameos that keep his lightning attack safe. Liu Kang, you might be fun to watch, but zoning will always be lame, so you're a punk for abusing it. Plus, why can you combo off your throw that easily? It is very cheap. Johnny Cage, you have been terrorizing people since the game's launch, you're still way too plus on everything, and in the right hands, your combos delete health bars and destroy dreams. Kung Lao, your gameplay is somehow boring and cheap at the same time. You always go for the wake up attack because it's safe on block and with the cameo you can combo after it. I understand how good it is, but please can you learn a new trick? Ashra, you're a literal handicap for the player because everything you do is great. You don't even need a cameo partner to be top 5 in the game. Although you kind of do deserve it after being gone for decades and let's be real, you're not going to be in the sequel. Nitara, why can't you combo off your throw? Why do you have the lowest health in the game? Why is your voice so annoying? Why is everything you do unsafe on block? Why does Netherrealm hate you so much? Havoc. You're downright gross to watch, and with Movado, your mix-ups are more disgusting. 
your projectiles are plus on block, but your damage kinda sucks. You deserve buffs, but good luck with that. Quan Chi, you are hands down the best zoner in the game, and Netherrealm still buffed you. You're actually unfair outside of tournaments with your guaranteed trap reset nonsense. Alright everyone, and there you have it, why your favorite character is hated in Mortal Kombat 1. If you can think of any more godlike roasts, then please post them in the comments down below. Wow, this video is short, like way too short, how did this happen? How did I cover every single character in Mortal Kombat 1 and yet we're barely at the 5 minute mark? Isn't that almost 30 characters? I think the roster in this game has almost 30 characters. Welp, looks like I'm doing the cameo characters too, please leave a like down below for my suffering. Jeanette Cage, you can do way too many things, you're borderline pay to win and that's no exaggeration. Plus, literally nobody asked for female Johnny Cage, why are you here? Darius, I mean nobody plays him anymore, but I guess his overhead is annoying. Serena, ever since day one, you're the go-to pick for scrubs, easy combos, meter drain, and annoying projectiles too. You're mainly annoying because everybody uses you. Cyrax, you have way too many tools, you can combo off throw, make everything safe on block, your bomb setups are cheap, and the list goes on. Thank god you got nerfed. Kano, your knives are really strong, and your Kano ball keeps everybody safe, but honestly, players only use you because Cyrax got nerfed, so suck on that. Sonya Blade, yeah, nobody uses her either. She makes combos do more damage, and that's kind of cool, but about all she does. Sector, that missile is so OP that your other attacks barely even get used. It makes everything safe on block and can even extend combos. Your other attacks are decent too, though. Frost. Enough said, nobody uses you. Jax, you have the most unfair setups in the game by far, that unblockable attack should actually get deleted from the game. Chameleon, how's it feel to be the most overpowered cameo in the game? Does it feel good? I bet it does. Especially since Netherrealm refuses to nerf you for some unknown reason. Striker, you used to be crazy good, but then Netherrealm nerfed you. Your grenades are still annoying though, and you got some other good attacks too. Scorpion, how's it feel to get replaced by Janet and Chameleon? Like seriously, does anybody play with you anymore? Sub-Zero, your setups are extremely annoying, and the fact you can negate zoning is also completely unfair, but also I love it. Kung Lao, your stupid low hat is overpowered no matter how many times Netherrealm nerfs it. Shu Jinko, you're the giga chat of this game and not enough people appreciate you. So many attacks to learn, experiment, and master, but the problem is most of us are lazy. Motaro, your teleport and projectiles are borderline cheating. No, seriously, it feels like you're breaking the game. Goro, you make everything safe on block and that's very, very cheap and the only reason people play you. But hey, at the very least, you're not spamming Stomp like Shiva did in Mortal Kombat 11. Trimmer, just like Shujinko, you're too complicated for most players to bother with. However, even so, your combo extenders can get really creative. Movado, you drain your opponent's health but still got nerfed by Netherrealm. Probably because everything you do is overpowered. Every throw in this game leads to full combos now, so yeah, thanks for that, you jerk. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below, it helps the channel out a ton. And then finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.